Hello and assalamu alaikum. This is Zafar Ali Khan and this is lecture number four, floating point. This is normalizations lecture, normalization. So first of all, let's talk what is normalization. You would have heard of normalization in databases back in AS uh, chapter eight, P1. So normalization is basically not just related to database. It is basically a process to bring anything to the terms of computer so that computer could make use of it. All right. So if you try any strategy to bring anything to the terms where computer could read and process the data that is said to be normalization. So there are rules set for floating point numbers as well. And we have to follow those rules. So if a number in binary form, a floating point number in binary form does not match those rules, we have to adapt um, a strategy to bring it to the required level. And that strategy would be called then the normalization. So let's see how, why the number is not considered normalized and how we recognize that if the number is normalized or not, let's talk about it. So let's say you have got a number 00001001 and this is 0110. Now you can see that first two bits are same. Any of the numbers that we have treated until now for floating point was not this way. In every number that we have used until now, first two bits were different. But in this particular number that I have just written, the first two bits in Mantisa are the same. So same first two bits, same first two bits means it is non, you are not normalized. All right. So remember in mind, since not normalized numbers are not saved in computers until you make them normalized we have to adapt a strategy to normalize them. So what you have to do, first thing you have to do is to mark in your mind, obviously, first two different bits. So these are first two different bits and whatever that is in the middle of it, one, two, three, four bits, they will be removed like they are pulled down. So all the bits on the right side, when you pull them down, will come near to the first digit. All right. So what basically happened that I have removed those bits which I have highlighted between first two different bits. So when you remove the right side bits, then what will happen is that the right side bits will come to the first bit. So what happened when you normalized it, this becomes 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now you have an idea that this is exponent and this exponent is telling you that the point will travel 6 times right travel and since you have removed 4 bits, you will remove 4 bits from 6 and what will happen to you? 2. So now we will make it here 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. So the simple thing is that you have marked the first 2 bits which are different in Mantisa. In the middle of the bit, the other bits obviously which are like the first bit, you have removed it and its number you have adjusted it exponentially. तो अब अगर हम इन दोनों नंबर्स को लेते हैं जो कि नॉर्मलाइज हैं या नॉन नॉर्मलाइज हैं तो हम उनको देखते हैं हम पहले इस नंबर को लेते हैं ये है 0000010101010 और दूसरा जो नॉर्मलाइज हमने नंबर लिया था ये हो गया 0101011101001 एंड 0010 लेट्स सॉल्व देम बोथ so this will be 0 0.00001010101 into 2 power 6. So this is 4, 5, 6. What it has become? 10.101. .10 so this is 2.5 and 0.125625. All right, positive. Let's solve this one. 0 0.10101 into 2 to power 2. So agar hum isko right move karenge, this will become 10.101. .10 and it is exactly 2.625. So you can see that both of these values are same all right but this number is not normalized this number is not normalized and this number is basically normalized so computer will not save this number computer will save this number all right so that is what we call normalization. So let's solve another few questions. Let's say I've got 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. And it is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. All right. So clearly we can see that first two bits are the same. So for that reason, we will first mark. This is rough work. Marking is rough work. 
uh, first two different bits and whatever the number of bits in between will be removed so this will become 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 and how many bits we have removed 3 so this is 8 8 minus 3 5 so this will become 0 1 0 1 1 2 and 4 so this is basically 5 now let's start solving it 1 0 triple 1 0 1 into 2 to power 5 move the point 5 times right move the point 5 times right 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this will become 1 0 triple 1 point 0 1 so this is 1 2 4 8 and 16 so 16 and 4 20 22 and 23 point 25 positive all right so this is 23.25 positive let's solve another question but this time the number is negative so negative number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and let's say it is 0 uh, 1 0 1 all right so whenever you have got negative number what we have to do first we have to see if it is normalized then okay we will convert that negative number to positive otherwise if it is non normalized first we will normalize it and then we convert it to the positive form to get the answer so it is not normalized since two first bits are the same now we will mark first two different bits and we will remove all these ones in between the method is similar so zero sorry one zero one zero one double zero into two to power uh, one why one because you had removed five bits so this is five minus four sorry four bits so this is five minus four one now you can see that it is one so first mention it in the form of binary now you can see that the number is negative other number negative positive you keep the mantis are same to the first one we keep the sorry you have to keep the exponent same and to the first one in the mantis are from the right um, Sorry, bits same looking and we will inverse the rest now 0 0.1011 into 2 to power 1 so point will go one time right so this will become 1.011 so this is 1.1.25 1 point, 1 point, point and point 0.125 so this has become 5 6 5 6 uh, this is 5 7 3 so 1.375 but this is negative number all right so if it is negative number you probably if it is not normalized you would have several ones at the start if it is positive number or if it is not normalized you might have several zeros at the start you would have to remove all those bits um, if it is uh, not normalized which are in between first bit and the second bit which is not the same and whatever the number of bits that you will remove you will adjust it in um, exponent by subtracting the number of bits removed and remember whether it is normalized or non normalized the result is same only the thing to consider is that non normalized numbers are not saved by the computer now the question is why why do we normalize we normalize so that we could improve the accuracy in the mantisa so obviously if you are removing few bits the bits on the right will be shift in towards the sign bit in that case if there would be any of the bit that is being removed from the right side in the mantisa will come back in and this will help us to uh, decrease the accuracy all right so last thing sometimes what happens if we are converting a number especially a number which is lesser than zero if it is less than zero or less than one let's say or let's say if the number is between zero and one in that case it is less than one but greater than zero in all of those cases uh, you might have a situation where the normalization things come in between it is not obvious at the start but it comes in between and especially when you are converting a denary to binary let's see how sometimes okay let's say i've got 0 0.5 positive all right first thing that you have to see is the uh, mantisa would be 0 1 let's say we have got 8 bits in mantisa and 4 bits in exponent so this would be 0 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and we have got uh, a exponent with zero why exponent is zero because we don't have to move the point point is always uh, between first two bits and since we required point one so it is there all right so we don't have to move the point okay all right so if we do it properly then it will be plus 0 0.5 this will become uh, 
zero point one. All right, zero point one. We don't have to move the point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is your answer in floating point form. So we saw that zero point five positive. When we change it, so there was not any issue. But if we keep the same number, minus zero point five. तो आपको पता है कि पहले हम नेगेटिव नंबर को डायरेक्ट सॉल्व नहीं करते रादर हम पहले उसके पॉजिटिव नंबर को सॉल्व करते हैं तो पॉजिटिव जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जो होगा वो अभी अभी हमने डिड्यूस किया था तो दिस वुड बी जीरो वन टू हो गए थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड फोर बिट्स का एक्सपोनेंट अब ये है पॉजिटिव अब हम इसको नेगेटिव बनाने के लिए क्या करेंगे एक्सपोनेंट हम सेम रखेंगे और इन वेंटी सर्व फ्रॉम द राइट टू द फर्स्ट वन हम सेम रखेंगे और टॉगल द रेस्ट जैसे ही हम टॉगल करेंगे बाकी सबको तो आप देखेंगे कि जो आंसर हमने नेगेटिव के लिए डिड्यूस किया है वो नॉन नॉर्मलाइज हो गया क्यों नॉन नॉर्मलाइज हो गया कि ये फर्स्ट टू बिट्स जो है वो सेम है तो अब हमें इसको पहले नॉर्मलाइज करना होगा नहीं तो कंप्यूटर इसको सेव ही नहीं करेगा तो नॉर्मलाइज करने के लिए आप क्या करेंगे कि पहले आपने मार्क किया फर्स्ट टू डिफरेंट बिट्स और इसके बीच में एक बिट है जिसको हमें अब खत्म करना है हम इस बिट को खत्म करेंगे वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट और अब आप देखें कि आपको इसको एडजस्ट ऐसे करना है कि जीरो माइनस तो आपके पास आंसर माइनस आ रहा है सो वन टू फोर एट सो इन फोर बिट्स टूस कॉम्प्लीमेंट जब हमें माइनस वन बनाना होता है तो हम सारे बिट्स में वन डालते हैं सो दिस इज बेसिकली माइनस एट प्लस सेवन माइनस माइनस वन सो दिस इज योर आंसर सो कीप इन माइंड वाइल यू आर सॉल्विंग अ नंबर विच इज लेस देन वन एंड मे बी समाइम्स इट इज नेगेटिव मे बी समाइम इट इज पॉजिटिव देर इज अ चांस दैट मीन वाइल वाइल वी आर कन्वर्टिंग वी गेट दिस सिचुएशन कि हमारा आंसर जो है वो नॉन नॉर्मलाइज हो जाए एक क्वेश्चन और करते हैं लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव सो so, पहले मैं इसको सॉल्व करूंगा प्लस जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव सो नंबर बन जाएगा जीरो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन और और टू की पावर जीरो बिकॉज आई डोंट हैव टू मूव पॉइंट एनीवेयर सो जब हम इसको सॉल्व करेंगे इसको एट बिट्स मैंटिस और फोर बिट्स एक्स मिनट में सॉल्व करेंगे तो अब आप सिचुएशन देखें क्या बन रही है वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वन टू थ्री फोर अब आप देखें आपके पास एक पॉजिटिव नंबर ही है और जैसे ही आपने उसको कन्वर्ट किया डेनरी से बाइनरी में तो आपने रियलाइज़ किया कि यहाँ तो ये नंबर फ़ौरन ही जो है वो नॉन नॉर्मलाइज हो गया है अब आपके पास दो ऑप्शन है क्योंकि ओरिजिनल नंबर नेगेटिव था तो आपके पास पहली ऑप्शन तो ये है कि आप इसको नेगेटिव कर लें फिर आप इसको नॉर्मलाइज कर लें दूसरी ऑप्शन ये है कि आप इसको यहीं नॉर्मलाइज कर लें तो आई वुड सजेस्ट दैट एज सुन एज यू सी नॉन नॉर्मलाइज नंबर यू फर्स्ट ट्राई टू नॉर्मलाइज है तो अब हम इसको नॉर्मलाइज करते हैं फिर हम इसको नेगेटिव में कन्वर्ट करेंगे तो नॉर्मलाइज करने के लिए आपको एक जीरो बीच में से रिमूव करना पड़ेगा जब आप एक जीरो बीच में से रिमूव करेंगे तो ये हो जाएगा जीरो वन हो गया थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट और ये हो जाएगा माइनस वन क्योंकि पहले से हमारे पास एक्स मिनट जीरो था उसमें से फिर हमने जो है एक वन जब रिमूव किया तो वो जीरो माइनस वन एक पोजीशन हमने रिमूव करी ना तो वो नेगेटिव वन हो गया तो ये आपके पास पॉजिटिव आंसर आ गया अब आप इसको नेगेटिव में कन्वर्ट करेंगे क्योंकि आपके पास एक्चुअल नंबर जो था वो नेगेटिव था तो अब आप जब नेगेटिव में कन्वर्ट करेंगे तो आप एक्सपोनेंट सेम रखेंगे फ्रॉम द राइट टू द फर्स्ट वन आप मैंटिसा सेम रखेंगे और आप फिर टॉगल कर देंगे अब देखिए इस सिचुएशन में क्या हुआ आपने जैसे ही पॉजिटिव नंबर को नेगेटिव बनाया वो दोबारा नॉन नॉर्मलाइज हो गया हालांकि आप एक बार पहले उसकी नॉन नॉर्मलाइजेशन खत्म कर चुके थे तो अब फिर हम इसको नॉर्मलाइज करेंगे जब हम इसको दोबारा नॉर्मलाइज करेंगे तो अब इस सूरत में क्या होगा कि आपके पास ये दो डिफरेंट हैं तो अब हम क्या करेंगे कि हम बीच में से ये वाला वन जो है वो रिमूव कर देंगे तो अब हमारे पास क्या जाएगा वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट अब क्योंकि आपके पास ऑलरेडी एक्सपोनेंट माइनस वन है और उसमें से आप दोबारा माइनस वन करेंगे तो ये हो जाएगा माइनस टू वन टू थ्री फोर All right. So this may also happen that you would have to normalize twice, especially such type of situations arise when you have a number either positive or negative when uh, it is uh, basically less than one. All right. That's it.